Hello everyone, this is George here. Today we're going to be learning how to install Stable Diffusion 2.1 as well as other models using the automatic 1111's web UI. This will be done on your local machines. There's been a lot of development using this tool, so we're going to be looking at how to use it within creative practices and architecture. These are some of the images you'll be able to generate using these models. And just to begin, let's look at what this web UI is. Is very much an open source and free tool that has been built by this automatic group as well as the community. It's a tool which permits you to use several models from Stable Diffusion, Instruct Pix to Pix, and Control Net, which we'll cover in several other videos, as well as customize and train your own data sets. It falls very much in line with the recent developments of multimodal models, so permitting us to navigate from text to image to sketch and video and soon to 3D. It also has several features which are really interesting from upscaling, in and out painting, prop matrices. And for some of those who have taken some of my workshops, you can also recently integrate the Deforum Colab and all, all of its features. All right, so where to begin? We're going to start off installing this web UI, and I'll be adding several links of these resources and models down below. So feel free to follow if you wish. This is the web UI we'll be installing. It'll be accessible through your browser. And the very first step is to really make sure you can see the automatic installation on Windows. Step one is really install Python 3.10.6. So let's go ahead and do that. I have it installed, but I'll just walk you through each step. Here you can download the 64-bit installer on your desktops or wherever you wish. Once you have that downloaded, it's very important for you to just click on the Add Python 3.10 to Path. Everything else you can press Next. All right, so once you have that installed, the next step is to install Git. You can go on Git and download, if you have Windows, download the standalone 64-bit uh, uh, Git version. And same as with Python, you can just, you can simply let it load. You can simply stick with the default settings and go next, 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 all the way through it. All right, I have that installed, so we'll continue. The next step is to clone this GitHub repo. So we'll be copying all of this all of these files, these embeddings, the dependencies from this repo onto your local machines. So in order to do that, let's go, for example, on our desktops and make a new folder. I'll call it AI, uh, AI underscore O2, because I already have an AI. You can save this wherever in your documents or other folders, however you wish. If you double click on it and copy that path, we can then navigate to if you type in cmd that brings us to your terminal where you can simply type in the two letters cd cd space and then you can paste your link that simply will permit us to save the files within uh, this specific folder okay so once we have that let's go ahead and git clone this repo, make sure not to select that dot right at the end. And then let's go into the full, go into, sorry, the terminal right here and simply paste that and press enter. I do have it installed. This does take a moment, so feel free to let that run. Okay, so now that we have the repo uh, saved on our local, it's important for us to download however many Stable Diffusion or other models that we wish to use within uh, this web browser. So in order to do that, we can scroll up and I'll also be adding this to the links right down below. On the wiki, there is a features tab right at the top and we can simply control F and search 2.1. Somewhere in the middle, you can see this link. Stable Diffusion 2.0, we're looking for the 768 version. You can simply click on that and we're going to be looking for that larger file, the 768 EMA prune safe tensor file. It's important for us always to download the YAML 
as well as the checkpoint file. So the files do, are considerably large, so it might take a moment, but do save both of these. Okay, that is for the first one. And the second one is the Stable Diffusion V1.5, which is the baseline model, so that we can simply compare and test different outputs. All right, if you do scroll down, original GitHub repository, download the weights. There are two models there. We're looking to download the first one, which is also considerable size. And this is suitable for inference. If you are looking for fine tuning or training your own models, you feel free to download that second one. Okay, once you have those downloaded, it's important to place those in the right folder location. So you should have this, the GitHub repo, Stable Diffusion Web UI. You can double click it, go on Models, Stable Diffusion, and you can see here there's a README text. Put Stable Diffusion checkpoints here. You can paste as many as you, in the coming weeks and months, you'll likely be adding more. So uh, they'll you'll be able to access all of those here. Uh, and I'll be also adding the link for this realistic vision model. So paste those there. And the next step is to go back to the original folder and we can simply run it by clicking the web UI uh, user dot user BAT file. All right, so this might take a moment, especially if it's the first time you are running it. So just let it run. Uh, there are some there are some elements that you might want to change depending on what GPU and resources you have. And one simple change that I have made is simply by right clicking on the web UI user file. Line arguments. Each computer will be different, and this helps, in this case, improve the precision of the outputs. However, feel free to go back to the Stable Diffusion repo on the wiki, and you can find command line arguments and settings. And here there will be several settings you can add to that as you go. If you're, as for every GitHub uh, repo, there are, there's the Issues tab, or there are three uh, link or there are three uh, links right here and for NVIDIA GPUs, AMD GPUs, or if you have an Apple computer. Okay, so how do we then, how do we then run it? Uh, you can simply run on local URL. We're going to copy this and simply paste it into any browser. And here, there you go. So you should have access to this web UI. We'll be covering how to use this in a separate video. However, on the top, you should see those models which you put into that models folder. And if you do wish to try this in different ways, you can also uh, test this out with Google Colab and there's several notebooks out there. However, I'm finding that the local setup is the most reliable or use uh, this website called Run Diffusion, which has several different of these models already preloaded and it's a simple payment cloud-based service. Now, just to end to show you the comparison uh, of different models, this is the Stable Diffusion V1.5 model on the top. This is using the same prompt top and bottom. So you can already see for certain text prompts, the outputs are distinctly better. This is right. This right here is an example of the realistic vision model which i'm also adding the link at the bottom and that's how you set up the web ui hope you've enjoyed it thanks for time tuning in bye